Welcome. My name is Serhat Erol Çavuş. Today, I will show you how to ISWAP server working as cluster. As you know, for disaster recovery, a lot of companies choose to work their main system as cluster. With this option, they don't lose data and time and they can keep continue working. Now, we will prepare our server working as a cluster. This server can be in the same places or different places. They will work synchronized on each other. First of all, we have to check what will we need for the system and what we have to be careful about. In our demo, we will use two iSwap servers. And this version must be same. This is our server 1. And this is our server 2. And we need a database server which I serve server databases keeping on it. We prepare the database server in here. Also we use this server as a storage so we can keep the mailboxes on this server like you see in here. After we prepare this, we can begin our cluster operation. The first server is also our main server, which we keep our domains and users in it. Because of that, we will define settings on this server. When we begin, if our database is in our main server, we have to migrate to the database server all databases one by one. As you know, in a server, all the databases keeping it ISAP servers. You can see all the databases in here. Because of that, we have to migrate all the databases for sharing one by one to the R SQL servers. We will show you how to do on another video. Now before we begin that, we also migrate all the databases to our SQL server and it is ready for now. After we finish this step, we will copy some folder to storage server which is important for cluster system. These folders are calendar config and spam folder. Most of the settings are keeping on this and when we change the destination, if we don't copy this folder we will lose some settings and data. It's important to do it before cluster settings. We did this because we will change the destination of this folder and it's important to copy this folder before beginning the synchronizing. When we finish the settings, we will open System and Storage tab and choose the Load Balancing tab in here. We can see Master and Slave Host. We will fill this section due to our topology and we will click this server operates in master mode. In our demo, 191 is our master server and 192 is our slave server. We will fill the section, we also give an ID for this and we click the server operates in master mode. Also we click automatically check if configuration has been changed and reload. So if we change anything on the other servers, the server can detect and load itself. After we set this section. We will show the directories in the near side, like in here. So we will change the config, the span and the calendar. When we finish this step, we will come to directory settings <coughs> and we also change the mail path and archive path in here to our storage. Temp and log path should be kept on the same server. 
After we finish the settings, we will do the same settings on the other server. But only a bit different. When we come here, we don't check this because the master mode is 191. We only check automatically check if configuration has been changed or reload. So when we change something in the master server, this server also automatically detect and apply this changing to itself. Also directory is changed same as the first master server. When we finish it, we will change the smart discover and give the our uh, domain name. So all the settings will be changed. You can change it from here. You can give all the services uh, to your domain name. And we will just start all modules in here. Now what we have to do in here. After the start we can test together if the synchronizing settings is working or not. We come to management site. So we create a new domain together. We give it example sir. And save it. It come here. We will create a user for it. We create two users and one group. For it and also we can change in the new group we can give limit we can change something it is not so important what you change in policies we can make the change in here and password press we can change it like here as you see we can make some settings change and when we open the other server we will see a warning the main config file has changed you should reload the config file before making any change we save it and come as you see example server will come and also the user we created in here too. Also the group we created in here. And when we want to check the limits, as you see, what we did in the other server, it's automatically affected in here. What we made in the first server automatically affect in the second server. If we do the same in this server, we will create another domain in here together. And we will add users for this. And come to our other server. As you see, it's also affect the master server. And when we open it, we can see the new domain and the new user in here. They will working as a cluster and when one of the server is down, the other server keep continue working. And when you make run the second server again, it will automatically detect all the difference and keep working properly. Thanks for watching.